Hey, what's poppin' YouTube, man? It's your boy On Point on the Grind. Uh, this is a video response to uh, to both videos. Mixed and light skinned women do look better by Tommy Sotomayor, and you are pretty for a dark skinned girl. Yeah, these are all videos from Tommy Sotomayor, and I think both of these videos go hand in hand. I just got done recording a video that was 18 minutes long. I went over and I forgot I'm not part on YouTube. So I had to actually start that shit over. So this is kind of getting very aggravating. But I want to make sure I say everything I need to say. So more than likely, I'm going to be making two videos that are 14 minutes and something long addressing this topic. But uh, first thing I want to say is that... um, First thing I want to say, okay, do mixed and light-skinned women... Do they do they do they actually in fact do look better than black women that are dark skin and brown skin? I can't fully agree with that. And I'll say because I've always been fascinated with dark and brown skin on a female, especially black women. I've always been fascinated by that and I'm not too high I'm not too um I'm not too high head over heels over light skinned women like I used to. You know that and that started to change probably like in 2010, 2011. After a while when I really started to understand some things. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, like I said, I used to be fascinated with mixed and light-skinned women in general. Um, as far as the females, I used to always try to pursue and date the ones I, I dealt with as far as relationship-wise. Not far as fucking-wise. Not far as fucking-wise. But far as... Damn, man, this motherfucker shut the fuck up. I hear this motherfucker talking on the intercom. I just want him to shut the fuck up. Ah, damn, motherfucker. But anyway, but, but the thing as far as fucking-wise is different. Because, you know, but as far as the females that... I actually was in relationships with, and I'm saying, I actually was in long-term relationships with and try to pursue, they were light-skinned females, you know, they were light-skinned and mixed females, and I had a deep fascination with it, you know, I used to always hear it in school, you know, brothers always saying, oh yeah, they, they're the best ones, you had all, you had light-skinned, brown-skinned, dark-skinned males, uh, black black males of all shades pursuing red bones, because that was the thing, you hear it in music, you still hear it to this day. Rappers like Lil Webby, Lil Wayne, Lil Boosie talking about, well, oh, I want a red bone, and, you know, whoop de whoop and you hear brothers all around, everywhere you go, everybody, red bone, red bone, red bone, red bone, I want a thick red bone, Every, you know, you hear it all the time portrayed, you see it in all these fucking music videos, this shit is really cherished, and it's not really going nowhere no time soon, but me personally, I kind of got tired of it, and to me, it kind of got played out, not really saying that they played out in general, but for that being like, you know what I'm saying, the type priority of uh, black girls, and it got played out to me. So I don't really cherish that like that. So, you know me. I started drawing towards a darker skin, uh, brown skin black girls. And it's not just so much the lust. I, I just think the complexion is, is beautiful, man. I'm just really attracted to it. But, um, you know, the main, the main thing I'm saying is that, you know, I made a video explaining that this whole dark skin versus light skin needs to stop. But after seeing a lot of things and really just remembering things and understanding and seeing a lot of videos, like I seen a video that Tommy Sotomayor made about dark skinned females, how this whole quote unquote, you're pretty for a dark skinned girl. And I seen this video, you know, I've been through this. I just never really wanted to think about it, but I had to put it together. I seen this video where all these dark skinned girls were venting on a past and talking about how they lighter skinned friends used to always get all the relationships and how they felt bad about their complexion, how they felt it was dirty. You know, um, this one girl was talking about how her mother was praising her one time. And she was feeling real good about herself. She was a dark skinned female. And she said, and imagine, her mother told her friends, imagine if she was light skinned, she'll be gorgeous. She said, when she said that, her confidence just shot down. <coughs> um, you know, they got this video um, where these people did a survey. And they brought a lot of people. They brought this uh, board. Of these little kid figures and had different shades of skin and most of these girls that would be an ass which one was the evil child which one was the good looking child which one was the ugly child which one was the good child most of those girls that would be an ass that were black and there was a darker skin complexion and most of them pointed to that lighter skin um them, them lighter skin figures i mean yeah they have boys being interviewed but most of them shits was girls that's a problem to me that's a that's an actual problem and i, I realized this, this whole skin complexion is deeper it, it's just it's too deep so I can't tell, you know, black and, you know, black people to stop this whole complexion beefing. It's too deep and it's not going, it, it, it's already, the damage has been fucking done. I can't tell dark skin girls, don't be tripping over this and all that. The, the, the damage is fucking done. Um, 
You know, was Tommy Sotomayor wrong for saying what he said? I think it's fucked up he said what he said, but that's the main preface. The reason why I say it's fucked up is because I think it's it's fucked up because the majority of black men prefer a lighter skin mixed woman. And that to me that's a problem. Because we the only race that goes through that. And me personally, I think a lot of these motherfuckers been conditioned and brainwashed to think that way. That's just my personal opinion. Now some people I give an exception to like Nola TV show. Because he actually likes black women. Just a light shade. He don't like uh, white women and other races of women and, um, you know, um, Spanish women like that. So I give him that much. You know what I'm saying? But you got a lot of, like like I said, Tommy Soto, I can't really speak on him. But the fact that... <clears throat> but it's a shame how we the only race that, you know, that goes through this shit. A lot of black men is obsessed with mixed and light-skinned women. It is what it is. I don't think we can ever change that. This shit is just too deep. You got to think of slavery days. And I'm going to say it like this. Slavery was the root of it. The root of it. But it's not. We can't blame it on that. Slavery was the root of it because, you know, back in slavery, they always degraded the dark skin. Especially dark skin on a female. What you think was going to happen? You know what I'm saying? You, you, you see, um, you already know the story with the house niggas and the field niggas. You know, this stuff just goes too deep. And, you know, so that that's the root of it. And, and, and a little bit of the media, you know, what you see these L'Oreal commercials and these top model commercials, you know, most of the women that's held as beautiful, especially in the white community, are people that are of a lighter skin complexion. So that plays a part. But the reason why it's so bad is because of black people in general, we keep this shit up. You know, we, we've been we've been fucked up and fucked up in the head to believe that lighter skin is, is better. You know what I'm saying? You know, the main question is, is it genuinely really better or has a lot of people in the black community been pushed to think that way because it's been thrown in our face when you when you see something for so long and dealt with it for so long you know what i'm saying you come accustomed to this stuff you know what i'm saying you, you come you know i'm saying you come more immune to it you feel what i'm saying you come more accustomed and immune to something when you've been dealing with it for so long so he says mixed in light skin women look better I'm gonna take that video he did. Uh, he was speaking on this uh, one girl, you know, she a sexy ass bitch, man. Her name uh, Carmel Car Caramel Kitten or some shit. I don't really know how to say her name, but she be doing a lot of these twerker videos. You know, she a light skinned girl. She black and Puerto Rican for all you brothers that don't know, because I looked her up. But she be doing these little twerker videos, making her ass clap in public and shit, like places like IHOP, you know, um, Goodyear, Artery stores, Walmart. You know, he did a video because he was talking about how he got tired of seeing black women doing ass clapping and shit like that out in public. But I noticed when he did that video on her, he took it easy on her. And everybody saying, well, it's because she light skinned. And I think it is too. But she a sexy ass little bitch. You know, I said she bad. But women like that is what seeing women like that, I understand why things will probably never change no time soon. Because she a fine ass bitch. You know what I'm saying? Black, women, black men is going to continue to put these women in the videos. And, and cherish these women and hold them high up on a pedestal. I mean, you've seen it. I mean, everything just proving me right. I, I don't see nothing changing no time soon. I mean, Tommy Sidemore, I even seen how the brother even with the other females that was doing the twerkers, man, he, he went hard at them, you know what I'm saying? But he actually took it easy on this girl, and this tells me something. Um, You know what I'm saying? It, 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 do mixed and light-skinned women, as far as mixed and light-skinned women looking better than darker skinned women and brown skinned women. I can't really fully say that because me, like I said, I told you, I ain't really too high head over heels. I, I date, you know, I seen some bad females that were light skinned and mixed that I would fuck the shit out of. But far as my preface, what I would prefer is something about darker brown skin. I prefer darker brown skinned black girls. I, I just, I, that's just what it is. That's what I prefer. I mean, I could deal with darker brown skin on, you know, the race of women that we would like to call Latin, because you know Latin and Spanish is not really race. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. But uh, you know, I'll date the ones that's darker brown skin, women else like that too. But 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 the thing is, um, I really can't fully agree with that. <clears throat> but I'm only one man, you know. what I'm saying you got, I'm a black man, and you got a lot of brothers that like lighter skinned women, and that, that it is what it is. I don't think it's nothing we could ever do to change that. I think it's fucked up that it's like that. But I think a lot of black men don't see the issue that deals with that. You know, we don't only, a, a lot of, you know, you talk to a lot of brothers, they don't need, it's like they can't even comprehend about how bad of an issue that is. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we the only race that's doing that. You know, why, why is that the case? <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? We the only race that's doing that. Tommy Sotomayor, man, the, the, the shit of brother, he gave his opinion. That's how he fell. Like I said, I think it's very fucked up. But what can you say? That's his own personal preference.
I really care less about a, a man's preference as far as complexion. But I, I will, if you ask me my opinion, I will tell you, I'll be honest with you and keep it real. I ain't gonna live in denial and I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It's fucked up. Like I said, we don't, we the only race that's doing that, you know, but, um, I don't, I'm gonna start off by saying that I don't believe lighter skin looks better than dark skin. I'm gonna start off by saying that. And I'm gonna start off by saying that I don't believe and that, that, that deals with our whole race. I'm light in general. I don't think it looks better than darker things. Um, especially us as a people. And I don't believe that lighter skin and mixed women look better than darker women. I, I just don't believe that. Mixed and light skinned women are pretty. I want no argument. You know, this, the women we call mixed breeds. And the reason why they're so pretty is because what they mix with. But I think they better know. I can't say that. I can't really fully say that. Because me personally, I'm not going to say they got played out. They, well, they kind of got played out to me. Not played out in general, but just kind of played out. You know, it's just not really. I'll date them. I'll still date them. But to me, my preference will be leaning more towards the darker, you know. But, um. Other thing I want to address is that, you know, Tommy Sotomayor, you, um. And this all contains to the same topic. You know, you made that video saying, you know, you're pretty for a dark skinned girl. You know, you always talk about how these dark skinned girls should get over this stuff and all that. But I think what you least could have did was gave solutions of how they can carry on. You could have really at least gave solutions and explained how they cannot let this stuff get them down. How they can get that confidence within themselves and not feel down and depressed about it. You know, I seen this video where these dark skinned girls were vitting, you know, talking about the situations where they was talking about how you. I think I addressed this recently in this video, but like I said, you already seen that video where these dark skinned women were venting, addressing that about their past history when they was younger, how their girlfriends would always get all the attention and they were lighter, how they always they felt like their complexion was dirty and this and that. And you, you just see too much stuff. Like that's like I said, this stuff is too deep to just go away overnight. I don't see this going away no time soon. It's been going on for years and you know, you know, it's in the black community always been already has been damaged over this. You know, it's like, you know what I'm saying, black people in general, you know what I'm saying, they, they just got like a deep fascination with this, with lighter complexion. But I think you could at least gave solutions to how they can move on, because nobody's giving solutions. Nobody's giving solutions. All these darker skin women just keep getting bashed and get bashed and get bashed. Nobody's giving solutions. I think you could at least gave solutions to how they could move on, how they cannot let this affect them, and, and give them hope that, you know, there is a brighter, there is a brighter, you know, there is a, a light at the end of the tunnel, like, to let them know, like, don't let that stuff get to you. Tell them to stop complaining about that. Not really complaining about it, just to tell them to stop complaining, but stop them to stop talking about it, because the more they talk about it, the more they boost, because a lot of light-skinned women are stuck up. The more they boost those women's confidence up to where they show off even more to hurt their feelings. That's my opinion. And, 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 and the reason why I say that, and not only that, it proves the other races right. They look at us like, yo, man, these some fucking idiots. The reason why I would tell them, I would tell darker skinned females to not stress over this too much because the more we stress, the more people is people that are racist and that already is obsessed with a lot of complexion that feed off of their misery. That's why I would tell them not. And not only that, they 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 post to feel highly of themselves and feel confident. So I want you, I want you, you know, you darker skinned females to understand that, you know what I'm saying? I'm not just saying that just to be saying it, just to say, oh, get over it. No, I'm saying this because I want you guys to embrace yourselves and feel more comfortable about yourselves. And I want you guys to prove a lot of other races and a lot of lighter skinned people wrong. Because believe it or not, there is a lot of light skinned people in the black community that feel like they're better than, not only the women and men that feel like they're better than, um, that feel like they're better than, um, you know, darker skin of um, black people. And I'm going to go ahead and close this video out and go ahead and make my part two because I can't go over 15 minutes. But uh, you already know, man. It's your boy on point on the ground. Part two coming up immediately. All right.